Today I wanted to make this video to explain what is going to happen to you if you just start working and never stop. Because they say that when you start business and when you start posting on YouTube or wherever you want to post, that you slowly start gaining momentum, momentum, the snowball. They all say that, but none of them really say what that is. They don't really describe it. And when you go and you start business and you're kind of doing stuff, you're making videos, video after video after video, none of them really do that well. You're kind of losing hope. And it feels like the way ahead is really dark and like the momentum isn't going to come. Well, in this video, I'm going to explain to you what that, mo what that momentum actually looks like. And this video, it's not going to be like my usual style of video. I usually like add some cuts here and there. I kind of put the video together so that the audio looks like this, so that there's no pauses. I'm going to try a bit more of an authentic style this time because I find when I do a bunch of cuts in the videos, sometimes it loses that personal touch with me. Anyway, um, this momentum. This is my experience with the business snowball, right? The start of business is always, always extremely tough. You've got the most difficult part of business. The most difficult part is literally at the very start. At the very start, like me, you're going to post and you're going to post. And if you're one of the ones that are actually consistent and they don't want to give up, you're going to keep posting for a long time. If you don't have a mentor, especially like I didn't, it took me six months, six months of just doubting myself, putting the work in every day. I wasn't sure if I was going to make anything happen of it. I had these doubts every day that I wasn't going to make it. But sure enough, if you stick through it, my period of zero results lasted six months. If you actually get through that tough start, the snowball will start gaining momentum. And what happened to me is that eventually I had one video do particularly well. Before I literally got like 50 views, 100 views a video if I was really lucky. And 100 views made me happy back then. It made me really happy. But I had one video get, I think it was 130,000 in the space of a couple of months. And this I was not used to at all. I went from basically between 10 and 20 subscribers to 3,000 as that video was growing. And then what happened, what's interesting is that the next video I posted did much better than usual. The video after that also did much better than usual. I wasn't getting a hundred views anymore. Now I was getting a few thousand and that was quite normal for me. I had gained momentum, right? After you have a video do well, that is likely going to happen to you. But what happened soon after that, the snowball keeps growing, right? What happened soon after that is I had a video get a million views in a month. Since that video, I had more and more videos get a million views. I started getting, it started getting easier and easier to get more and more views, more and more results. Even though in the first six months, there was none. I think I literally didn't gain a single subscriber. So after that kind of bit of momentum, uh, by the way, sorry about the motorbikes uh, in the background. Bali has a lot of motorbikes and yeah, they, they could be quite loud sometimes. But after that, the momentum for me took a slightly different turn. And it happened when I actually sacrificed the views and decided to, you know, make videos that I actually put more effort into. Because I used to just pump out videos to get as many views as possible. But when I stopped doing that and decided to make a video that was actually good, I ended up getting a business partnership. Someone reached out to me and offered to pay me 
$3,000 per video because as a game developer at the time, back then, I'm not really a game developer anymore. I still sometimes make games, but I primarily do uh, this, which is a business. I, I teach people how to run their own online business. Um, the game development thing, I still do it, but it's more of a side thing. But what happened is that a game I made on my channel did particularly well with a community of the game called Balloons Tower Defense. And the biggest Balloons Tower Defense YouTuber actually reached out to me and offered to pay me $3,000 for every video that I made on that game, every update that I made, because it did so well on his channel when he played it that it more than paid for what he was going to pay me. So that made me jump. I mean, when I was getting those million view videos, I was only getting like a $1,500 a month. Some months were pretty bad, but um, I was just barely coasting by. So I jumped from that to about $4,000 a month. So after that, it just kept growing, honestly. After that, I decided I wanted to make my own game, one that I can actually sell, because before that, I was kind of leveraging existing things to get views on YouTube, which is, you know, a strategy that a lot of people use. But when I decided to stop doing that, it gave me all the rights to what I made. So when I decided to make that game, I started an avalanche. <laughs> the snowball started an avalanche because when I released that game, I went from $4,000 a month to making $100,000 in one month. $100,000. That is mind-boggling money. And when I I remember at the time, I was in the car with my girlfriend after I released the game. It was after eight months of grueling work. And I released the game at 3 p.m. on the 20th of October, 2024. I still remember like the exact time because it was it was a very big moment for me. I was really scared to check the sales because this was the culmination of a lot of work. I checked two hours. I finally, my girlfriend got me to check. I checked the sales two hours after the game came out. And the number <laughs> was $7,000. $7,000 in two hours. Honestly, that is when, that was probably the biggest pivotal moment of my life when that game came out. And it just it really made me think. It made me think, you know, the job I had I was earning £1,100, about $1,500 a month from that job. And I just made $7,000 in two hours. It's funny because a man called Andrew Tate often says money isn't real. And that's, <laughs> that's a phrase that I was really thinking, especially at that time when I was getting that really high volume of sales in a very short time. Money isn't real. It's, it's such an interesting phrase, but I think there's some truth to it. Once you kind of break out of a normal job and you start making money online, and especially once you have that first moment, that first taste of like proper success, it really puts things into perspective. Anyway, after that game came out, I decided to stop. I actually decided to not to kind of put the games on the back burner because I, I knew that I wanted to do something else. <clears throat> and the thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to have a channel where I just kind of spoke to the camera. I wanted it to be more about me as I don't know if that's egotistical or whatever. doesn't matter. I wanted it to be more about me and my interests, because at the time, you know, I've been making games for a long time. I felt like I kind of grew out of the career path. I wanted to pursue something different. So I decided to make this channel. And what I'm about to describe is actually, it's actually cool because after you, you might think, you know, you're growing a snowball and then you, you stop, the snowball will kind of just dissipate, right? You won't gain any more out of that and you're going to have to start a new snowball. But that's not actually true. You think that when you start from scratch, it's going to be just as hard as the first time, but it's not. And it's not because of the mindset gains, although it is. But when I started my second business, 
I posted it on my first channel. I posted like, oh, I've made another channel, guys. Go check it out. That got me like a few hundred views on my first video on that channel. Then I had some experience with making videos, so that made starting it easier. I also had my 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque that I put in the back of my videos, which also made starting it easier. I was in Thailand at the time, actually. That gained me some traction as well. And I also had the money from my first business. And I actually, I had an editor when I first started this channel. All of those things culminated together because that, that editor did quite a good job. And um, some of my videos got over 10,000 views when this channel first started. Um, all of those things culminated to make, start, to make starting my second business a lot easier. So it's not just the mindset that you gain from you know, building your first successful business. There's a lot of stuff that will go into it, even if the business is quite unrelated, the second business that you start. Anyway, I am now seeing the same snowball effect with this second business that I'm running. And what I do on this channel is I mentor people. I teach people how to make money online. And typically that is through online education. I teach people how to teach something they know and charge for it and how to sell that thing high ticket. So for over $500, that way you don't need many views. You don't need many clients to actually, you know, break free and not have to work a job anymore. It's a really good business model. You can check out the link in the description if you're interested. But anyway. <clears throat> business works in ways that you don't expect. Because now I've gotten to, you know, with that kickstart and, you know, putting a lot of effort in, I made, you know, videos for a few months and then I decided to start the mentorship. So anyway, I got to $10,000 a month with the mentorship and, you know, I'm now feeling more fulfilled with my work. I enjoy helping people make money. But I've recently gone to Bali. I'm in Bali right now. I'm here for the next two months. I'm going to see my family during Christmas and then I'm coming back out here and I'm either staying, coming back to Bali or going to Thailand after. And I'm probably going to stay there all the way to the summer because I really don't like European winter. I might even stay here during the summer. I don't know my exact plans yet, but anyway. Being able to move to Bali after you make money online is actually going to snowball your business even further because the conversations I've had with other entrepreneurs since I've been here. There's so many entrepreneurs here. It's crazy. It's it's flipped the other way around. It's literally weird to be here in, in the part of Bali that I'm in called Changu. It's weird to be here and not be a digital nomad, not have an online business. Having a job here is making makes you the odd one out, which is just crazy. And the conversations I've had with the entrepreneurs here I'm convinced has more than paid for this trip already. And it's just that snowball effect. And the same thing will happen to you. What if you want to move out here, you will gain just by being around people, you'll gain motivation, you'll gain knowledge by talking to these people and it will snowball your business even further. Business works in ways like this that you don't expect. It's crazy. And I've, it's happened time and time again for me. And now the snowball's gonna keep going for me, right? I have client results. Oh, the the, <laughs> the power just cut off for a split second. Welcome to Southeast Asia. Anyway, I have people that have worked with me that have made their monthly salary in just a week, right? I have people that have literally got their first client and They've paid them over $1,000 within just a couple of weeks and they've started from complete scratch. They've only posted like a few videos before and they've come to me, they wanted my help. They've made over $1,000 just within the first couple of weeks of online business. And it took me six months of no results and then two months of like somewhat results before I made my first $1,500. <coughs> So to be able to do that for someone in just a few weeks is crazy. <clears throat> but anyway, the fact that I have results, I need to publicize them. I've been really 
putting that off. I've been really busy with other stuff, you know, serving existing clients. I've been, you know, out and about a lot. I've had a lot of trips recently. I haven't quite done it yet, but I need to change like the call booking link around. But even just putting that on my call booking link page will really increase the conversion rate of that page and get me even more clients. That snowball is just gonna keep going. There's no reason that you can't do this too. And it's funny, I'm seeing this snowball effect with my clients as well. So I had someone that was with me for two weeks, right? And the first two weeks, he didn't make any money. He didn't get any new clients to his business. But then in his third week, he got his first client. And I think he made, I think it was $500, right? And when he got that first client, in the next week, he got three more. So he got none in the first two weeks. And then in the third week, he got four, right? Snowball effect. <clears throat> and this keeps happening in business, right? Momentum is real. It's just hard to tell how it's going to show itself, how it's going to manifest itself next. It's not this like predictable thing that's going to happen, you know, it's, it's every few months, like something happens that like 10 X is your business. And this only happens if you become an entrepreneur. If you have a normal job, your cap of income is only like 5%, 10% higher every year. Maybe once one time you, you know, land a new position, you gain like a 30% raise. That is nothing compared to how high you can get with entrepreneurship. And you already know this. And it's funny because there's no like secret to gaining this momentum. It's literally just part of being an, un an entrepreneur. It's just what comes with starting your own business. Because you own everything and all the profits go to you and you choose how to reinvest them, there's no like working for a company. Because when you work for a company, you're building that momentum for somebody else. So why not just build it for yourself? <clears throat> so if you find yourself in that position that I was in just a few years ago, three years ago, right? I was stuck. I was stuck in England. I had no future prospects. I just thought I was going to work an office job for the rest of my life. If you're stuck and you've realized that you don't want that life, you want a different life. But you don't, you don't know what the hell you're supposed to do. It just seems so dark. All you have to do, and this, oh, this is going to sound so cringe, but all you have to do is just start. And that momentum will happen. It just it is part of entrepreneurship. So that's all I had to say in this video. I had some notes in front of me. I think I've, yeah, I've gone over all of them. So as always, if you want my personal help to start making your first few thousand, get to $10,000 a month online, then you can click that link below. Otherwise, if you're not ready or you don't want my help, these videos will always be free. <laughs> so I will see you in the next one.